In this video, you will learn how to remove and replace the lower track bearings on a mobile stair lift. For this task, you will need a 10 mm wrench, a 13 mm wrench, a 17 mm wrench, a punch, a rivet gun, a rivet, a drill, the Phillips head screwdriver bit, a 1 8 inch drill bit, a 5 mm hex wrench, and a hammer. First, place the stair lift on your work surface with the tracks facing up and use the screwdriver to remove the bolts that fasten the seat belt's metal bolt plates to the main frame of the chair. Place the folded stair lift on your work surface with the tracks facing down and unscrew and remove the cord which connects the battery to the motor. Now it is time to remove the back wheels and brackets. To remove the four smaller bolts on the bracket, use the 10 mm wrench to brace the nut while you rotate the bolt counterclockwise with the screwdriver. Remove the larger bolt by bracing the nut with the 13 mm wrench and rotating it counterclockwise. You may have to press the bolts from the opposite side and screw counterclockwise in order to pull them out of the bracket. When you remove the largest bolt, make sure that you keep track of the thin and thick rubber washers. Additionally, make sure the metal cylinder stays inside the holes on the lever. Next, use the 17 mm wrench to loosen and remove the bolt on the axle. Then align the punch with the axle and hammer the punch to slide the axle out. When the axle has been hammered beyond the wheel, slide the wheel towards the bottom of the chair to remove it. Then pull the axle completely out from the opposite side and place it and the second wheel aside. The bracket will now slide off. The second bracket may now be removed by following the same steps and removing the four smaller bolts and the one larger bolt. When you have finished removing the second bracket, fold the seat of the stair lift up until it is perpendicular to the frame of the chair. Use the punch to drive the center seat axle out of its housing and then pull it completely out the other side. Make sure that you keep track of the four black plastic washers which fit between the seat and the main frame of the chair. There are two large and two small washers and one of each goes to both sides of the chair. Return the seat to its folded position and use the hex wrench to loosen and remove the two bolts on the top side of the motor. Flip the folded stair lift so that the tracks are again facing up and loosen and remove the remaining two bolts while taking care to grip the motor as you remove the final bolt. Once the bolts have been removed, pull the cylindrical part of the motor gently out of the motor housing and place it on the surface below the tracks. You may now gently lift up on both of the tracks and unhook the hinged black component from the black metal lip on the mainframe of the chair to remove the entire track housing. Place the track housing on your work surface and use a drill to remove the rivet on the axle connected to the motor. Then, rotate the tracks 90 degrees so that they are sitting upright on the table. Align the punch with the motor axle and use the hammer to drive the punch into the end of the axle. When the axle has been driven beyond the track wheel, slide the wheel out to the side to remove it. Next, flip the tracks so that the protruding axle is on top and hammer the axle back into the housing and then use the punch to drive the axle into the housing and beyond the track wheel. When the axle has been driven beyond the wheel, slide it out to remove it. To replace the first wheel bearing, slide it under the track and into the housing and line up the holes in the housing with the hole in the center of the wheel. Now, hammer the upper side of the axle to drive it through the lower part of the housing and wheel. Continue hammering the axle until it has been driven beyond the outer edge of the housing and has enough space for the upper wheel to be added. Slide the wheel under the track into the housing and then flip the track so that the protruding end of the axle is facing up. Hammer the axle until it is once again flush with the outside edges of the track housing. Now place the housing tracks down on the work surface and line up the hole in the axle lock with the hole in the axle. Use a rivet gun to install a rivet through both holes. The track housing can now be reattached to the main frame of the unit. To install the track housing, First loop the black hinged component of the track housing into the black metal lip beneath the seat 
and then rest the tracks on the back of the chair in the folded position. Slide the motor gear into the hole on the motor housing and hold it in place as you replace and tighten the top two motor bolts with the hex wrench and then flip the folded stair lift over to replace and tighten the other two bolts. To reattach the bracket, first slide it on and line up the four holes in the brackets with the four holes in the frame. Then push the screws through the holes and screw on the corresponding nuts with your fingers. When inserting the bolts in the corner of the bracket, please note that the bolt must pass through a nut on the bottom of the extendable handlebar component inside the frame of the chair. When inserting the larger bolt, the thinner rubber washer must go in between the bracket and the outside of the lever, and the thicker rubber washer must go between the bracket and the inside of the lever. Next, tighten the smaller bolts by bracing the nuts with the 10 mm wrench and using the screwdriver to rotate the bolts clockwise. To tighten the larger bolt, use the 13 mm wrench to brace the nut and rotate the bolt clockwise with the screwdriver. Once the two brackets have been reattached, line up the holes in the wheels with the holes in the brackets and slide the axle through the two wheels and two brackets. Then, tighten the bolt on the axle using the 17 mm wrench. You may have to brace the bolts on both sides of the axle to tighten it. Next, fold the seat and front wheels of the stair lift up and insert the center axle into the hole in the side of the seat and push it through the hollow end of the black hinged arm below the seat. Push the axle through until it is centered in the housing while taking care to thread it through the black rubber washers. The larger rubber washers fit between the black hinged arm and the side of the seat frame, and the smaller rubber washers go on either end of the axle between the seat frame and the main upright frame of the stair lift. Once you have replaced the axle and washers, fold the seat until it is at a 90 degree angle to the main frame of the stair lift and the holes in the end of the axle are lined up with the holes in the side of the stair lift's frame. Rotate the stair lift so that it is right side up. Thread the seat belt bolts through the seat belt fasteners and insert the bolts and tighten them with a screwdriver. Once you have thoroughly retightened both bolts and the battery cord has been reconnected, the stair lift is ready for use. For more information, please visit mobilestairlift.com.